Let's get Learn to more. some fun shit. Sexy ass Senate, Dianne Feinstein. More about the health of California Senator Dianne Feinstein calling and calls for her to resign. Those calls continuing today. The 89 year old Democrat recently returned to Capitol Hill in a wheelchair. <laughs> After a nearly three-month absence due to a bout of shingles, now her office confirms that she's dealing with some serious complications. Nicole Killian joins us now from Capitol Hill with what's at stake for... What do you mean? She looks perfectly fine. (laughs) Okay, so, (laughs) yeah. What's at stake for Democrats and President Biden's agenda in addition to the senator's health? Nicole, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Tony. And Senator Feinstein's return has given Democrats a critical vote back on big issues like the upcoming debt limit and confirmed. I think it's funny because like she 100, I'm locking it. I'm calling it. She is going to vote the wrong way on a critical uh, vote because she's demented. I'm telling you right now, there is going to be a very funny moment where Diane Feinstein doesn't understand what's going on and votes for a vote that is critical in the opposite direction, okay? It's going to happen. It's literally going to be the funniest fucking thing. And everyone's going to come in here, and all the liberals are going to be like, why are you laughing at this? Like, I can't believe you're laughing at this. This is really fucked up. Democracy is crumbling, and you're laughing. It's like, dude, democracy crumbled a long time ago, okay? Like, we currently have just the human version of crust, Okay? sitting on a fucking wheelchair, being wheeled around, where they actually have, like, a stick propping her up. They, like, taped her back to a fucking stick so that she looks like she's alive. And, like, you know, we're just acting like that's fine and normal. Who do you think is responsible? Random Twitch streamer for having that happen? Or literally the entire Democratic Party apparatus? Oh, we're going to talk about this in a second. Hold on. I just wanted to say one thing, and that's about cops on the beat, Senator Dianne Feinstein said in her extended public remarks since she returned to Washington, D.C. after several months at home in San Francisco with shingles. I was mayor of San Francisco for nine years, she said. There was no program more favorable with people than police on the streets. They got to know them. There was a positive relationship. The crime went down. (laughs) Yeah, you know she remembers that. That's like, that's like dementia. Anyway, let's get back to the judges here in the narrowly divided Senate. But she is keeping a much lighter schedule, missing some votes and meetings, prompting some within her own party to consider whether she should step aside. California Senator Dianne Feinstein came back to the Capitol last week to a standing ovation. I want to welcome back our colleague, Senator Dianne Feinstein. <laughs> Mrs. Feinstein. Mrs. Feinstein, I. After battling shingles for nearly three months, a spokesperson for the 89-year-old Democrat confirmed Thursday she suffered from additional complications, including a rare neurological disorder called Ramsey-Hunt syndrome and encephalitis, or inflammation of the brain. How is your recovery going, going Senator? Well. Earlier this week, the senator faced renewed scrutiny over her health after a Los Angeles Times reporter asked her about her return to the Senate. I haven't been going. I've been working. You've been working from home is what you're saying? No, I've been here. I think she <laughs> should step down. California Congressman Ro Khanna is one of <laughs> several lawmakers <laughs> demanding Feinstein. No, resignation. I've been here. I, I've been working from home. I mean, here. That's crazy. She's representing 40 million people in California. We ex- need someone who's going to be on top of the job. Feinstein holds a seat on the powerful Senate Judiciary Committee where Democrats now have Bro, the photo they're using for Feinstein is literally from when the when the machine was first invented to take photos. Like that photo is literally colorized. It's originally a black and white photo from when the the camera was first invented. Have a one vote advantage over Republicans, so missing one vote leaves Democrats short of getting President Biden's judicial nominees through. What kind of accommodations do you have to make? Well, we schedule things that work for her to make sure that she's able to attend. Dude, Dick Durbin is so ridiculous. I, it does not make sense why they're holding on to this like so much. I don't know. I don't know why they are literally holding on to this. I know Nancy Pelosi's uh, daughter is actually Feinstein's primary caregiver, but like, I don't understand it. Like, cut a deal with gruesome Gavin Newsom to like put whoever you want in that position. What the fuck? You can't control gruesome Gav? Like, what the fuck is happening? 
Because that's the only fear here, right? The only fear here is that, uh, you know, they're, they're worried that, like, if, if Feinstein is gone, because you can replace her position in the, in the Senate committee without Republican votes, as far as I understand it. But um, they're, they're fearful that, like, they want their person in that seat in California. And Gavin Newsom said he was going to put a black woman there, which is, yes, likely Karen Bass. And it seems like it seems like uh, uh, the Pelosi world wants Adam shit or not Karen, not Karen Bass. I read the fucking chatter. Karen Bass is is the mayor. Uh, Barbara Lee. Racist chatter that I read and also did racism. Adam Schiff can be a black woman. What's the issue? It is Barbara Lee. It's not Karen Bass. Katie Porter is running for it, but Katie Porter has some oppo on her already. It's not going to work, I think. Plus, she's too much of a loud mouth, even though, like, I'm not saying that I like that she does the uh, attacks, but she's too much of a loud mouth from the perspective of, like, the DNC. She's too much of a troublemaker. No, it's not as straightforward as you think. I don't know what it is. It makes no fucking sense. There's got to be a reason for it, but anyway, they can't replace her on the committee. I think that's literally it. No, they can. I'm pretty sure they can. I'm pretty sure they don't need a, like, they need Republican votes for some of the things. You're wrong. They can't. I think they they need Republican votes for they can replace her, but they need Republican votes to like actually force her out and the Republicans won't vote for it. They literally refuse to vote for it. Yes, they can replace her on the committee if she resigns. They can't replace her if she doesn't resign. They can't force her out because Republicans won't vote to force her out. They actually tried that before. She is the committee. No, she's not. I mean, She's right behind Dick Durbin in terms of uh, seniority in the committee, but still, how would her replacement happen if it just if it should just croaks? I don't know. Don't they also need sixty votes to approve any replacement if she did resign? Why would the Republicans give away an easy way to block any D majority? No, no. I think she can vote for her own replacement. Like if she resigns and votes for her own replacement uh, in the Senate committee, in the Senate Judiciary Committee. They could technically still have uh, a, a whatever, whoever Democrat. They can replace her on the Senate, but not the committee. No, of course they can replace her on the Senate. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's see. So here, Republicans have the capacity to block temporary replacement for Senator Feinstein on their Judiciary Committee. This happened in April 18th. They have the capacity to block a uh, Democratic request to temporarily re replace California Senator Dianne Feinstein. But if Dianne Feinstein herself... If Dianne Feinstein herself voted for a replacement, they would have enough votes to technically replace her with whoever the fuck they want to. Okay? Do you understand? <clears throat> Diane outlived three husbands. That's not how it works. 60 votes to replace an empty seat. No, it's not an empty seat. It's not an empty seat. Dianne Feinstein is still in the seat. I'm, I think she can pick someone else to replace her within the committee it's a like they could they could put someone else in her position and she could play a role in voting for that what the hell is time magazine doing what ron DeSantis means for america what the fuck the process of replacing uh feinstein 89 on a high profile panel okay according to senate sources schumer next week will bring up a resolution that would call for a temporary replacement he will first try to do so via unanimous consent, meaning a single senator can object and block the effort. If that happens, the resolution will be subject to a filibuster and need 60 votes, including at least 10 Republicans. The big reason for the complicated process is that the committee assignments are handed out at the beginning of every Congress as a part of an organizing resolution between majority and minority parties determining the formation of each panel. While some committees have had members temporarily set aside as chairman or ranking member due to an indictment like Senator Bob Menendez or an investigation like former Senator Richard Burr, altering that agreement in the middle of a Congress has not happened in recent memory. Two House Democrats took the stunning step to call for Feinstein to resign. Her absence from the upper chamber has left the Judiciary Committee deadlocked between Democrats and Republicans and prevented it from moving nominees to the floor. Feinstein, who has been away from the Senate since early March, announced a few hours later that she would not be returning to Capitol when the Senate reconvenes after a two-week recess due to ongoing health complications. I love that this literally doesn't explain the problem. That is, if she's still in the Senate, if she retires, Dems can assign another Democrat to the committee. I think so, too, but Chatter's saying that that's not the case, and now I'm questioning it. I think Republicans can keep her seat open as long as she's there. No, not her seat, by the way, her committee chair, her position. 
If Feinstein were to resign immediately, the process would be much easier for Democrats since California Governor Gavin Newsom would appoint a replacement. The Senate regularly approves committee assignments for new senators after their predecessors have resigned or died, but a temporary replacement due to illness is a rare, if not unprecedented, request. By all accounts, the arrangement is rooted in a long and friendly relationship between Feinstein and the Pelosi's, twin pillars of San Francisco politics. But among some of those who are aware, it also has raised uncomfortable questions about whether Nancy Pelosi's political interests are in conflict with Feinstein's personal interests. The intrigue sound, surrounds the future of Feinstein's seat. Pelosi has endorsed Adam Schitt, her longtime protege and former handpicked House Intelligence Committee chair, to succeed Feinstein uh, after her sixth and final term ends next year. Schiff, uh, D. California, is a household name in California, has already had 50 million campaign cash advantage over his nearest competitor. But if Feinstein were to bow to pressure and retire early, Schiff's advantage could disappear. Gavin Newsom is pledged to appoint a black woman to serve out her term, and one of Schiff's declared opponents, Representative Barbara Lee, would fit the bill. If DiFi, what the fuck? <laughs> Calling Diane Feinstein DiFi is so funny. They gentrified her, bro. Yo, they gentrified Diane Feinstein, dude. What the fuck? If DiFi resigns right now, there's an enormous probability that Barbara Lee gets appointed, thus makes it harder for Schiff, one Pelosi family confidant told Playbook, adding that the relationship between Pelosi and her daughter and the senator is being kept under wraps and very, very closely held. She's making the weirdest noise while she's sleeping right now. Boff the immortal. Thank you for the five tier one gift to subs. Pelosi's office confirmed in a statement in the playbook that her daughter has been supporting her in her shingles recovery. Bennett said that Prouda has been friends with Feinstein for decades, as has Pelosi herself. But Bennett rejected the suggestion that Pelosi was seeking to influence Feinstein's decisions about her future. Anyone who knows Senator Feinstein knows that her service in the Senate is entirely her own decision. And Speaker and Marita Pelosi would never suggest otherwise. Yeah, Pelosi's been among Feinstein's most vocal defenders. Yeah. What was, uh, where, what, does anyone have the Pelosi video of her talking again? I've never seen them go after a man who was sick in the Senate, Pelosi told reporters. Shut the fuck up. They have. Fucking idiot. If a senator resigns, dies, or is expelled from the office, does a replacement automatically fill the senator's committee assignments? No. There is no guarantee the replacement will fill their predecessor's committee seats. Once there's a new senator sworn into the vacant seat, he or she only gets committee assignments after the Senate adopts a simple resolution. Opponents can, in theory, hold up that process with a filibuster, continuous, often unnecessary debate on the floor, to cause a prolonged delay to vote. It would take 60 votes to end a filibuster. For Feinstein, who serves on the Judiciary Committee, that question is particularly important. Even if she left office, Republicans could prevent her success or any Democratic replacement from filling her seat on the Judiciary Committee under current Senate rules. I mean, that would be insane. They would have to stop all Senate uh, duties from taking place, specifically to make sure that there is, like, that committee assignment does not follow through. That would be... Uh, that that would they would do it, but it doesn't matter because Lindsey Graham said they'd allow it. It doesn't matter. They would it would be so fucking it would look so bad uh, for the Republicans. Like I know they don't give a shit, but like no, this would be this would actually be harmful for them because they have bills they want to pass too. Like they're not gonna fucking filibuster the entire process specifically so they can stop someone from uh, joining a committee. Maybe. I mean, they wouldn't block a replacement if she resigned, they said. Oh, yeah, see, Manly. Oh, there it is, dude. This is like right here. Senator Lindsey Graham, the leading GOP senator on the Judiciary Committee, said in a recent CNN interview that Republicans will follow president if Feinstein resigns. They'd never lie about that. No, this is like one of those things where like you have to look at what benefits they have. I know Lindsey Graham has lied a lot, but they, I don't think they gain anything from blocking this. Uh, yeah, they just held the Supreme Court hostage for half a presidential term. Yo. They held the Supreme Court hostage for half a presidential term. They didn't disrupt the entire Senate proceedings for it, though. Because the once the person is like uh once the person is is reelected to the position, the committee assignment part is pretty fucking uh it's pretty cut uh, cut and dry. Like stopping a Supreme Court appointment does not mean stopping the entire fucking Senate from operating in the same way that this does. They already own the judiciary, and, and it's not like Democrats are assigning woke justices or woke judges anyway. I'm telling you, there are ways around that. I mean, obviously, will the Democrats follow through on that? I don't know. They can't even get fucking Di Dianne Feinstein to resign. So, But saying you're going to filibuster uh, a law, saying you're going to filibuster a piece of legislation and stopping that piece of legislation from ever uh, going forward or arriving at the fucking Senate floor is entirely different than directly stopping the Senate from operating when there's like a ton of bills that have to get passed every day within the Senate that you don't even think about, okay? That would be the only way that you can like try and stop this from happening if she resigned. 
they probably wouldn't do that because that's like a nuclear option, which apparently the Democrats have a counter for by, uh, by uh, possibly uh, with majority change the rules. Senator Dianne finds. Okay, so this is, but Democrats are struggling to find a solution for the other nominees, and there's zero chance of subpoenaing Justice Clarence Thomas to testify as a report of ethical violations. We know all that. Uh, let's see. Like almost all Senate rules, though, the committee's membership could be changed via unanimous consent where all 100 senators give their, to leave their fudge things up a little bit. Alternatively, the body could pass a resolution to shift committee assignments, which would require 60 votes to break any potential filibuster. In the last several days, though, the GOP has uh, said that they're not going to make that happen. Um, yeah, they have slowed down uh, Senate proceedings, at least in the Judiciary Committee, and, and they've eviscerated it due to Dianne Feinstein being a fucking vegetable. Um, with no timeline for Feinstein's return, Limbo, while she says she will not run for re-election, this term doesn't end until January 2025, leaving up the untenable scenario of her seat laying far follow for over a year and a half. If Feinstein resigns entirely, though, California Governor Gavin Newsom, a fellow Democrat, could appoint a replacement to complete her term. From there, the process is much better established in the ad hoc swap that Feinstein's office pro proposed. There'd be no way for Republicans to block either Feinstein's successor or another senator from taking her spot on the judiciary. Thank you. Exactly. Daniel S. Holt, assistant historian at the Senate Historical Office, points to a report from the Congressional Research Service. Bolding added. In filling vacancies that occur on standing committees after the initial organization, Senate Democrats follow the same procedure used for each new Congress. Committee vacancies may occur during the course of a Congress because party leaders decide to change the committee's size or party ratio, or because members die, change parties, or resign from the Senate. A new senator replacing a late or former senator may be chosen to fill the vacated committee seats. However, if the new senator is the opposite party from the departed senator, adjustment in size and ratios are often needed to make slots for the new senator. Moreover, incumbents may also seek to compete for the newly opened committee seats, especially if they occur... Uh, on one or more prestigious panels, such as the Appropriations Committee or the Finance Committee. Like, if she resigns, they can actually make the switch happen fairly easily. There are no ways that the Republicans can really combat that. But if she doesn't resign, which she's not currently, then it's actually complicated because they can't fucking get her to be replaced. It's ironic then that the Republican opposition to a temporary switch removed a potential pressure valve against the growing calls for Feinstein's resignation. The option was only floated as a possibility after several Democratic lawmakers began openly saying what had only been whispered on Cap Capitol Hill before then. Senate Republicans are gambling that her reticence to retire will outweigh her commitment to achieving broader goals for her party and country. That includes even supposed moderates like Susan Collins, whose audacious claim that she's acting against a concerted campaign to force her out of the Judiciary Committee must be taken with a grain of partisan salt. It will be in the interest of her health, her constituents, and her legacy for Feinstein to defy her expectations and do the right thing by stepping down. I think you're coping if you think she will resign. I don't think she will. I'm not saying that she will. We're currently talking about the we're currently talking about like what's going on and what could potentially happen if she were to resign in the unlikely scenario. Does that make sense? Also, Feinstein doesn't know what the fuck's going on in the world right now. It's not up to her. It's up to it seems uh whoever has power of attorney over her, which seems to be Nancy Pelosi's daughter. Okay? It's so fucking weird, dude. It's so weird. Physically. I, would I feel bad. No, don't feel bad. She's a fucking demon. I just feel bad for like, you know, the, the marginal changes that you could fucking make. Uh, it, or at least like maybe starting a fucking investigation on Clarence Thomas's financial misdeeds. That's what I want. Even if that goes nowhere, they can't even start it because Diane Feinstein is a vegetable. I was mayor of San Francisco for nine years. As the longest-serving no female program. senator, the five-term legislator announced in February that she would not seek re-election next year. Congresswoman Katie Porter is running for her seat. Any concerns about her ability to serve out her full term? I think it's very, very clear that it's time for a change in California. That's why I declared um, to run. Now, there are several others running for Feinstein's seat, including California Congressman Adam Schiff, who is backed by former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. If Feinstein were to retire, Governor Gavin Newsom has pledged to appoint a black woman. But that is why some are questioning the relationship between Feinstein. Like, oh, God, imagine if the, like, the Democratic Party operated uh, against Pelosi right now in the same way that they operate against like Bernie Sanders by being like Nancy Pelosi doesn't want a black woman to thrive. Nancy Pelosi has, uh, you know, cut down black women, uh, within the party. They don't want, she, she's just afraid of Barbara Lee. 
resigned and Pelosi's eldest daughter, who is now assisting her here in Washington. The former speaker has defended Feinstein's decision to stay and serve out her term, although a source close uh, to the speaker tells CBS News that there is no political agenda here. Back to you. Yeah, OK. Nicole, thank you. So the agenda is what? That like you legitimately think that Diane Feinstein is a girl boss? Hey everyone, it's me, the editor again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please throw some Kaya loves in the comments and it's always nice to know when people reach the segment. To get more Asan content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hey, leave a like while you're at it. Uh, and if you'd like to see another video just like this one, why not check this one out?